Okay, everyone, we're looking at the war ball chest pass overhead throw and shot put today. Basically, our big upper body power generation movements. Um, I'm going to use Steve, my assistant, again. So, we're both going to be doing the movement here. Uh, so, we're just going to take it in turns to the big power throw. We're going to start with the basic chest pass with a mutual stance. So, my feet are going to be shoulder width apart, just soft knees, and I'm just going to get all the power generation from there with my triceps. Um, so I'm gonna keep my chest up, elbows underneath, I'm gonna send it straight forwards. I'm not gonna get any help from my legs or rotation, anything like that. Everything is just coming straight from the front. Straight out. Make sure you got your hands up. Let's catch the ball when it comes back at you, especially if they're using a heavier one. And there, nice and easy. Obviously that is a relatively weak throw. We get most of our power through rotation. Um, if you was ever gonna throw, stone or something you would never throw like that you'd start one foot forward and get rotation through it allows a lot more movement or you'd step into it so we're going to do the stepping chest pass all i'm going to do start with my left foot foot uh, start from neutral i'm going to step forward right foot forward so now i've got a little bit more momentum coming out uh, momentum coming forwards swapping feet each time and you should be able to get a much further distance on the throw that you work in there so that's just basic chest pass, same again, so it's still a double-handed throw. We're just getting a little bit of momentum forward. So if, I want, if I want to stick full rotation to that, I basically do a shot put. Obviously, this is a lot bigger than a standard shot put ball, so I can't just rest it against my jaw. But I'm going to try and do that as close as possible. So I'm going right hand first, mainly so I don't miss and take out the camera. So I'm going to rest it on my right palm, elbow underneath. It's still resting against the side of my face, though. It's a little bit off balance if I just hold it. So my left hand is going to act as a shelf. I'm not going to throw it. I'm just going to push it straight off that left hand. I'm going to push off my back foot, bring my right hip forwards, and I want to twist as far as possible, throw my right arm forward. Basically, throwing a cross punch if you've ever done boxing. So I'm going to keep my left hand underneath, twisting through my back foot, sending that water ball straight at Steve there. So left foot forward, right hand throw. You can see my hips and end up in a big turn. My back foot twists out, so it allows me to get as much power as possible. Obviously, when you're doing your left hand, it's not going to be as powerful. And instead of going there, it's probably going to go over there, maybe down here. It's probably going to go, might go behind me. I don't know, it could go anywhere. So don't go straight for your heaviest ball of your most powerful throw. Ah, that's almost on, on target. So do be careful when you go for your weak hand because it will not go where you want it to. Uh, we can also do our overhead movement. Uh, this is more front shoulder, but also abdominal work. Uh, your abs are designed to resist spine flexion, uh, extension, sorry. Um, so we're going to start by going to a big overhead position. I'm going to launch it straight forward. We have got lights above us here, so I'm not going to throw up like a football throwing. I'm going to go behind my head and throw it straight forward so I don't smash all the lights and get told off. So when I lean back, I should feel a big pull on my abs. And when I get as far back as it'll go, I use that stretch to power the throw. Again, still aiming to get a lot of power into this. Starting like a cannonball. Uh, we can also do that with a slam. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing slams between your feet with these things uh, mainly because they bounce quite a bit so it'll probably just come back up and straight, uh, hit you straight in the face but we can do slams between our partner if we're going for a distance so I'm just going to aim roughly halfway between the two of us so I'm going to go same position as before overhead slamming it halfway between the two of us and it should bounce so Steve can catch because I don't have to worry about killing my partner now I can put a little bit more power into the throw I wouldn't want to do that to him in case he doesn't catch it. Cool. So those were our power generating wall ball throws. I'll see you next time.